Mark Lamone is suing his neighbor, Michael Kagan, for damaging his fence and storage shed when he chopped down a tree. Mr. Kagan, what kind of property do you have? It's a single family residence. Do you live there? No, it's a tenant. How long haven't you lived there? I've never lived there. I've owned the house for about 20 years. So you just use it as a rental property? Yes, I do. And you understand your responsibility as a landlord is to maintain certain things, tenants maybe, but the safety and security of your property and your neighbor's property is your responsibility? Absolutely. Okay. Now, Mr. Lamone, how long have you lived next door to the Kagan house? Uh, approximately 20 years. So you both bought them at about the same time? Yes. And there was a tree on your property, Mr. Kagan, that either was dead or dying. Now, did you hire some people to cut down this tree? Yes, I was... Okay. And does somebody have a picture of the tree to show me? Um, Your Honor, I have a picture of the tree after it was cut down. Let me take a look at it. So you hired somebody to take down a tree? Yes. And I assume the tree was dead? No, it wasn't. It was just a very large tree. The roots were becoming a problem, and I was asked to take it down. By whom? By the tenant I had, and the tenant told me that he had talked to my neighbor and that was the tree was becoming a problem on his side of the property. Which neighbor? This neighbor? Yes. Had anybody spoken to you about no, this tree? No, Your Honor, tree? the tree wasn't a problem. It was a healthy, beautiful tree. I had no issues with it at so all. So it, it wasn't a dead tree? No, Your Honor, it was not. You have a picture of your backyard, sir? Those are the only pictures I have, Your Honor. Okay. Who did you hire to take down this tree, Mr. Kagan? My tenant had called me and notified me that there was a tree trimmer in the neighborhood and who did I heard, you hire uh, this woman who was a contractor who took down trees did you look into that person's expertise I talked to her about it and I looked him up online and she was a con contractor a handy person and a she handy said she person. does this she it was one of the things that she advertised and the tenant one confirmed she had done this tenant can't confirm anything to you. She was doing it other trees in the neighborhood when this happened. Cutting down or pruning? I was told cutting down. What city and state do you live in? Uh, Westlake Village, California. And, and this house is located where? Palmdale, California. I know because most places, if you're taking down a big tree, you have to have insurance. I mean, that can be a very dangerous proposition. This is not a small tree. This is not a sapling. So you didn't know really anything about the person who you hired to take down the tree. And they did what amateurs would do. They cut down the tree, and they cut down the tree, and it went into his fence, and it went onto his shed. And it's lucky it didn't kill somebody. Okay, that's what happened. Correct, Your Honor. When did it happen? Uh, it was around August uh, 2016. Well, this is a year later. What are we doing here a year later? I'm trying to chase him down to get the payment for the fence. He said he was going to uh, pay for the fence to get it fixed. He never did. So in January of this year, I decided to rent my house as well. And uh, Okay, so you rented your house in January. Correct, of this year. So you lived with the broken fence for six months. Correct. 